Hi everyone, Jeanette here from Case Flower School and today I want to give you some more tips. So the flowers that we're going to talk about today is mimosa, mimosa as a flower, now not as an alcoholic drink, and September flower that's available all year round, not just in September. So we'll talk about the mimosa first. So mimosa is a spring flower. And it's a flower that's absolutely perfect for mixing in with spring flowers like iris, daffodils and tulips. When it comes to daffodils, people often are kind of like unsure about what type of flowers to mix with them. And personally, I always feel Jip does nothing for daffodils. It's a little bit like muck and diamonds, they don't mix together. Where you do find mimosa looks really, works out really, really well, well with them, have the stutters there. Now, mimosa, it's not part of the Jip family, but kind of treated the same. It actually stays fresher longer if you keep it in cellophane or in the plastic sleeves. It doesn't always come in a plastic sleeve, by the way. So it likes to be kept in plastic, kind of like a sweaty, humidity, kind of a damp sort of atmosphere. You will find if your room is very dry, that you say if it's in a flare arrangement and the room is very dry, what will happen is the little, the little balls on it, that's the easiest way to describe them, they kind of shrivel up and they shrink and they dry out. Or if you have them in your flower shop and it's a little bit windy out or they're in a draft, again you will find that they'll shrink, they'll kind of dry up slightly and they'll kind of shrivel up. So the best way to keep them fresh is to keep them like misted. So if you're using them in a flower arrangement or maybe a wreath or a door wreath, I normally demonstrate on our Friday night, Friday, Friday night, Friday morning classes, the 11 o'clock free live classes. If you kind of Google it, you'll see where I demonstrate how to make like door wreaths using mimosa, but I also do flare arrangements using them as well. So to keep the mimosa fresh, what I recommend to do is have a water mister and keep it sprayed. Or if anybody has maybe watched some of my tutorials before, when I talked about maybe keeping flowers fresh or prolonging the life of the flowers, I would have mentioned a spray that you can buy. I don't have it at hand at the moment, and it's called Chrysal Glory. And Chrysal Glory is a preservative or a hydrator that you can actually spray on flowers and it keeps them fresh for longer. So if you spray that on your mimosa, that would definitely help to prolong the life of it. I'm going to remove it out of the plastic just so that you can see what it looks like. Now, some wholesalers sell it by the weight and some wholesalers sell it by the stem. I bought this in by the weight and it kind of came in five bunches, so that was the minimum amount I could buy. But it was kind of like some of the bunches have three stems and some of the bunches have five stems. So don't be kind of like thinking, oh God, they're always going to be that size. It doesn't work that way. So there's three stems in this particular bunch, but you'll see now that they're completely different sizes. So there's one stem there. It's actually not too bad, decent enough piece on it. There's one stem there. Now, Jane, you might be hard done by if that was your stem. And then you can see we got a monster of a stem. So that's just to kind of give you an idea that it was sold by the weight. And if I was to open the other bunches, they would be completely different. There may only be two big stems or there could be five kind of smaller stems. But if you watch me when I'm doing the online tutorials on the Friday classes at 11 o'clock, you'll see where I'll cut this up and make smaller portions of it and some of it I will wire as well. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I love what I do. Another flower I want to give you a few little tips about is September flower. The September flower, and it's available all year round. And um, a common name for it is Aster, A-S-T-E-R. So it's part of the Aster family. Around Christmas time, people are inclined to call it Michaelmas Daisy. Comes in white, it nearly looks like daisies growing in the garden with the little yellow centre. Now like all flowers, you pay by the weight. The particular bunch I have here today is really, really small. The minimum amount you have to buy is 25 stems. And I actually have 25 stems here. But as I said, you pay by the weight. And I was buying this in for something particular, so I purposely bought a lower grade. So it's just to give you an idea, that is five stems there, that's the elastic on it. That's five stems there, the elastic band is still on it. I have 10 stems in my hand, 15 stems in my hand, 20 stems in my hand, and there's the other five stems, sorry there, is there's the other five, which is 25. But if I was to take the elastic off them five stems, you can see that's what one stem looks like. So you can see it's actually quite miserable. There's very, very little, but I purposely ordered it in this way. If you were to buy it at like a heavier grade, more than likely what I have here in my hand would nearly be equal to one stem. Because a normal stem of September flower would probably look like something like I have there in my hand. You know, with lots of little side shoots coming out the side. And it means then you can get a lot of cutting on it. 
but I want to make like a long grave arrangement so I'm looking for long pieces and that's why I purposely ordered in the lower grade so that's all the September flare that I got so you can see now for making my points in like say you have 13 points in a grave arrangement this will work out perfect but probably for most flowers out there they would buy maybe the heavier grade so with the September flare, remove the foliage or the stems, you know like the loose little stems, you see off the end of it there. And use your stem stripper, don't go and use your hand like I'm doing here, I'd, go, I'd be looking for my candle to put all the oils on it to soften up my hands again. So remove all your leaves or any little side shoots that will be under the water. Approximately one third fill the bucket of water, fresh clean water. People often ask me, what about rainwater? No, well, especially if you live in Dublin, the rainwater in Dublin would not be clean water, okay? So fresh water out of your tap is perfect. Put a measure of flower food in it. That stops bacteria growing. And make sure the bucket itself has been sterilized with Domestis bleach, like not any old bleach, it has to be the Domestis bleach. And cut an inch off the end on a slant, keep it in a cool room, and it's actually quite a good lasting flower. You will find the end pieces, the little side pieces of leaf on it, that's inclined to go wilty very quick, that's why I would clean quite a lot down off the stem. So hopefully you picked up a couple of tips and tricks there. Remember, if you have any questions, all you have to do is comment below. We'll get a notification and we will get back an answer. If you're interested in any more top tricks, why don't you search for us on YouTube? We have a YouTube channel. Why don't you go to our website, flareschoolireland.com, and look up the blog button on the website. We've lots of tutorials there. And by the way, when you're searching for us on YouTube, it's Case Flare School, that's the name. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and remember our free live step-by-step uh, -step classes every Friday at 11am in the morning. Make sure you join us. There's always great fun, great crack and you'll learn lots. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.